Select the full insert trial option that provided optimal medial balance. Gauge and ensure 1 to 2 millimeters of medial and lateral extension laxity. Gauge and ensure 1 to 2 millimeters of medial flexion laxity. Lateral flexion laxity may be greater, but a minimum of 1 to 2 millimeters is suggested. Assess knee stability, anterior posterior, medial lateral, internal and external rotation to ensure sufficient ligament function. Flex and extend the knee, checking for femoral implant impingement on the ACL or tibial eminence. Adjust the femoral trial medial lateral position if necessary and pin the trial. In the rare event of imbalance at this step, the same recut and implant options are available as during the medial tibial balance step. Using the angled face on the femoral trial as the guide, remove the anterior intercondylar femoral bone using a narrow saw blade. Select the appropriate size CR notch trial and engage the anterior portion of the notch trial first. Then, use the femoral impactor to impact the posterior portion of the notch trial until it sits flush with the femoral trial. Perform final trialing with patella and notch trial. If contact between femoral implant and cruciate ligaments is observed, consider adjusting medial lateral position of the femoral trial and repeating the femoral intercondylar notch preparation. Use the lug drill to prepare for the femoral lugs by drilling to the bottom of both distal holes in the femoral trial. Remove the tibial and femoral trials. 